Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Sin. Today we're reading for the collective. Hey collective, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell uh, to book a primer reading or shop at my store. All that information is in the description box below. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> Last uh, channel reading for today. All right, somebody desperately wants to get out of something. I'm hearing a plane. I don't know if you guys can hear the plane above. But somebody wants to get out of a situation. Wow. See, these words be lining. It's so funny how these words be lining up. <laughs> so that plane, hearing that plane to me sounds like a, like a, somebody wants to jump out of a plane. But this is figuratively. Somebody wants to jump out of something or they want to get out of something here. Okay. So we have quick trauma. Someone is going through a lot of trauma. A lot of emotional trauma here. <clears throat> then we have watermelon. And then we have a cat. But the cat is in blue, which could be symbolic. So the blue... Can represent that somebody needs to speak up more. The cat can represent that they um, might be observing, analyzing, but afraid to speak up. Watermelon represents fertility and spirituality. So something is growing or someone's, the way someone's anxiety is growing or their emotional state is growing. It's like it's getting out of control here. Somebody realized that they played a game that they lost here, an emotional manipulation game, and it's um, causing a lot of trauma towards them. It's causing a lot of trauma towards them here. Wow. All right, let's see. Yeah, look, confusion, ace of swords, two of swords. Someone is completely confused here. They're holding back. So someone's lies got caught up to them. Um, and it's costing them a family. Family life, family dynamic. It's causing a, a someone to lose their stability as well, too. Hmm. So someone is realizing they are the reason why things are happening in the way that it's happening and it's taking a toll on them. So someone feels very guilty about the, oops, someone feels very guilty about the string of events that has transpired. But the reason why they have transpired is because of this person. This person feels very guilty for how everything has turned out. So they're in review. They're in constant review. They're always thinking of a way to make things better here but every time they try to make things better it's just like they just keep getting keep i keep hearing like i'm um, going to like the sunken place like this person's emotional mm, emotional abilities that's not the right word but their emotional state is not it's not sound, it's not healthy. It's very disturbed. Very, very, very disturbed here. Someone feels very guilty about what took place here. It's it's like screaming. They, they are feeling very guilty for what took place and they can't stop thinking about it. We have the chariot here. They're not able to move forward because of it. Nine of, nine of wands. And then the Queen of Swords, this person may be very bitter or very snippy. So if you're talking or having a conversation with this person, they may yell or scream at you for no reason here. That's because they are, you know, not I don't want to say hiding, but just more so um, they are. I'll say they're embarrassed. 
I all that has transpired here. Yeah, they're embarrassed. Somebody wants out. I just keep hearing, I want out of this. Somebody doesn't want to deal with this anymore. They have a lot of anxiety. They, they don't want to deal with this anymore. <clears throat> Somebody, your yeah, rejection. They're being rejected by a lot, by everyone. Success is in reverse. This one, this person's in isolation. I keep hearing help mates. So someone could have helped someone with a situation here. And that's also eating them, eating them alive because they're realizing that they were an accomplice to something. They were actually helping someone do something. And that's what's bothering them. Emotions is here. Mm hmm it has come to an end. Longevity is in reverse. So it's 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 come to an end here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer. There is definitely a lot of emotions here, a lot of watery emotions. So you could be dealing with a water sign here. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Energy is in reverse. You're not giving it any energy. Someone's not giving it any energy. We also have communication here. Communication is in reverse. We're dealing with a Pisces. want to tell you so much i know we have a soul connection so i feel like someone is going to put this on paper or a letter or something because i keep hearing dear john letter someone doesn't know how to face you or they don't know what to say to you if they were in your face or in your presence so they feel like by writing this down and writing a letter to you would be you know it would suffice it would be enough for them to to maintain or to take care of We are more alike than I admit. So someone was taking advice of other people about you and they made the wrong decision in regards to listening to other people. Um, and it caused a form of a tower here. It caused a tower within this person's mental state. This person is not, their mental state's not protected. They're all over the place. They, they feel, Mm, this energy feels suicidal. <sighs> this energy feels suicidal. We've been picking up a lot on death and suicide lately. I mean, we are at the end because we're in the Pisces season and this is Pisces is in the 12th house. And, you know, we're, we're starting back that circle where we're coming back at the top with the first house here. Um, so it's just going to be a lot of like, a lot of harsh endings, a lot of harsh endings for a lot of people. And we're also, um, ending a 30 year cycle of Saturn in, I think it's in Aquarius and we're moving to Pisces. So for people that have had karma, but, well, the universe is uh, reviewing all of the karma that people have initiated or take place in good karma and bad karma for the past 30 years. So if your ass was doing shit for 30 years worth of bad karma, best believe that shit coming back to you. I wouldn't want to be on that side, but there are some people that are on that side. And then you have some that are... Um, on the right on the right side of things so they have 30 plus years of good karma coming to them so imagine all that karma coming to you at one time because that's what's happening to a lot of us out here as we are shifting collectively into a new energetic uh field i mentioned however right plane um 
so the earth is enhancing or the, the vibration of the earth is enhancing and the people that are not who hasn't made it to the next stage or hasn't graduated to the next chapter will be left behind okay it will be expired basically okay they will be expired or exposed by the universe expunged <laughs> we expunged by the universe Yep, a new day. A new day without the ones that have been causing a lot of chaos and conflict and stuff like that. But anywho, yes, yeah, someone feels very, um, they feel very suicidal here. Future self is in reverse. This person cannot connect or don't know how to connect or could be afraid to connect. light in the dark is in reverse so this person is not able to see any light within their darkness here mm. that is crazy Oops. yeah somebody wants to feel free they don't want to be bogged down they made a wrong choice they took the wrong path and they're paying for it. And someone is like, the guilt is eating at them. Guilt is really eating at this person here. This person feels very inflexible. They feel like they're running out of options. They're running out of time. They feel like they don't know what else that they can do here. Yeah. Somebody is ready to let it go. Yeah, they're they're willing to give it all up. Because they realize how much of a big stink that they have made, that they have caused. And they feel like the only way to end it is by suicide. Yeah, co-create is in reverse. They don't want to co-create with anyone. They, don't, they feel like they can't. They feel very, very bogged and tied down by, by the decisions that they made. A change in the wind. Yep. So there might be a suicide move to the left. Yeah. Yeah, look, message. This is, is going to be a suicide note. Somebody, I don't even know if I want to say that. Mm. Somebody, mm. somebody may take pills. They may overdose. Yeah, this is this is a bad somebody's in a very bad headspace here. They're not listening, they're not taking calls. Someone's in a very bad headspace here. And the umbrella came back out again. Changes. It's going to shock people because they never would expect someone to do do this. Somebody can't face the music. They can't face. They did a lot to you, collective, and they, they can't face it. They can't face you. They can't face the music. Um, life is just becoming too over overwhelming or over overburdened. Yeah, life is, is too overburdened for, or overburdened, overwhelmed for this person here. Poverty, they're losing everything, everyone. Wow. Could be an immature man that feels this way. We have concern. Definitely is a concern here. You have some people in the community that are asking questions because they see that the, the mannerisms of this person has completely changed. So people are starting to ask questions. Well, hey, what's going on with you? You know, you've changed, you know, are you okay? There's, a, there's people that are questioning this person's mental state and they're asking 
questions here because like i said somebody's going through adversity they're not growing or they feel like they can't grow they feel like they're at a standstill they feel stuck someone is in regret someone is in regret over the decisions that they have made and they feel like a failure Somebody's going through a lot of adversity at this moment. A lot of guilt. Could be asking for forgiveness from you. This person feel like they, they know that they can't fix the situation here. Yeah, because they caused a lot. And this was unnecessary. It didn't even have to be this way. And it was a lot to do with, with envy. Envy and money. Or the, their envy was growing for you. The envy that they had for you was growing. It could be because of your purpose. Because they realize you are in your purpose here. They envied you. Because you knew what you were doing. Or you had a plan. Or basically you knew. Yeah, you had your life planned out. You knew, you knew what you needed to do. We got grief. We got fear. And we have death. And this person's greatest fear was for you to find out. What they have done to you. In the background of things, because judgment is here. And now that you know, they know that you know that you're not going to accept any type of gratitude or forgiveness from them. So, yeah, this person just, they're basically, they're self-destructing. That's what that is. Yep, they're a lot of worry, energy, and they're surrendering. Or well, they're soon to surrender or succumb to their own devices. I'll say that. I was careless with you. Because mm -hmm. this person was taking um, information from other people about you and didn't make a sound decision about you for themselves. They listened to what other people had to say. And it turns out that the things that people were saying about you was completely incorrect. This person is realizing this now and it's too late. <clears throat> now this person feels very burdened by the things that they have done, the things that they have said about you behind your back. <clears throat> yeah, this person is overthinking a lot. That's all they do. I keep hearing primary school. Uh, primary school is um is uh, elementary school. Uh, West Indians. Uh, if you grew up in West Indies and you went to school over there, primary school is like elementary school. So, um, but that's what I'm hearing. Primary school. So something about primary school. Something may have happened to this person. While they were in, in elementary, you have fears. This person can't face you. They're stressed out about it because they know that you know. Yep, they have trust issues. A lot of black magic was involved in this. Yep, to take out a high priestess. <laughs> Domestic violence was involved in this amongst a fake empress so somebody was it was a man that was um actually being abused by a, a fake empress here yep look that's just so abusive it'll pop back up here it is abusive tower moment justice liar 
all because somebody lied on you. Somebody's home is getting repossessed. Somebody's car is getting repossessed. Somebody has to start from, from the bottom and they don't want to. New beginnings is in reverse. Magical blessings is also in reverse. So everything that this person has taken from you is being replenished back to you. Wish wisely. This person did not wish wisely. Plotting. Okay, they wished against you. Praying on your downfall. Very unloyal to you. So you all this time you thinking this person may have been loyal to you. They were unloyal to you the whole time. Jealous, stuck energy. They just wanted you to be in stuck energy. You're going to be divorcing this person or you have divorced this person and you'll be in a new job here. And while you're in a new job, this person is going to be in the streets. Hmm. We have Sage in the second house in Mercury. <laughs> Fourth house in Neptune in Pisces. All that water. Mm, all that illusions. Fourth house is roots. Fourth house is family. What else is that? Fourth house is roots, home, family, self-care, emotions, mother, children, women, femininity. So somebody struggles with their mother or they may have childhood issues surrounding their mother that they need to work on. Um, check your, your Chiron. Chiron is the healer. Check to see if your Chiron could be in the fourth house. Okay. Fourth house of Gemini. Chiron and Gemini. And um, I'm hearing Chiron and Pisces. And Chiron and Scorpio. All right. So sun sign. So you're definitely dealing with a cancer here. So someone who was born underneath the cancer sign. And this is in the fifth house. Okay, so somebody's cancer sign could be in the fifth house. So check that out. Romance, love affairs, play, creativity, fertility, drama, self-expression. Then we have South Node and Scorpio in the 12th house. So somebody um, that's in their South Node of Scorpio, that's low vibrational, that's like to argue and fight and bicker and be petty. 12th house is the subconscious. Um endings healing closure spirituality solitude karma old age afterlife attitude or no i'm sorry well uh afterlife what's hidden limits and believe the subconscious so yeah things are ending things are ending here so yeah so it may end in, it may end in a suicide <clears throat> okay gemini virgo Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus, one more, Aries. All right, if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time, peace.